Welcome back to Texas Eats. Now we're here on the northwest side of San Antonio to go inside of a restaurant that's serving up authentic West African cuisine. Let's go inside Trice's Cafe and Lounge. Joining me now is Elsa. She is the owner and chef out here at the restaurant. And do me a favor, pronounce your full name for me because I can't say it. <laughs> Elsie Glasu Atsanoa. That's a beautiful name. Thank and thank you, you so much for having us out here. Thanks for coming. And right in front of us, we have some of the hits off the menu. We have fish, some goat, beef, chicken, a little bit of everything. Talk to me about the culture of the cuisine that you have here. So right here we have African cuisine, to be specific, West Africa. And we cook out of three nations in Africa. We cook from Ghana, Nigeria, and Cameroon. And everything, it smells incredible. I love, I mean, the spices that you're using, you can just smell when you're cooking in the kitchen as soon as you walk in. And I wanna talk first about what's going on in this bowl right here. I see some onions, and, and this, this is, is goat, goat correct? Right, that's uh, asum, it's a goat meat, um, actually tossed with hot pepper, so it's quite spicy. Okay. And with onions, you just toss it in vegetable oil, you season it to your taste, and bang, you, bang. you got it. Bang. <laughs> Cheers. Yes. That's the bite. Oh. That's a little spicy. Yeah, we do customize the spice to the customer's need. So if you like it very spicy, you can get it as spicy as it can be, or we can tone it on for you. The way the goat is prepared, it has all this flavor in the inside. You have the skin on the outside that is nice, chewy texture, and then the fat just melts in your mouth. This stuff is spicy though. Like I've taken a couple bites. <laughs> It's already like getting your lips going, but it's like the perfect amount of spice you want. You get a little piece of onion, you get some of the goat, and it is a great bite. And now we do have some drink over here as well, because I'm gonna have to take a sip, because it's a little spicy. Talk to me about what's going on with this drink. So this drink is called palm wine. It's made out of the palm tree, and it's important. You can only get it in Africa. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So this is a typical Nigerian dish and it's called a foriro. It's actually um, veggies which will be spinach and colored greens tossed in the, this uh, red bell pepper sauce. Mm -hmm. And um, it's very nice. Delicious. And you get to add a protein to this if you'd like. And we actually added beef to this yes, one. Yes, there's beef in there. All right, so show me, how do we do this? Okay. Teach me how to do it. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> you basically just take um, a piece. Okay, take a piece. Like that. It sticks together. Okay, you're kind of playing with it. You, yeah, you've done you, this before. Yeah, you want to mold it. Just go take up your sauce. Okay, I'm gonna take some of the sauce. Oh, okay, I think I did it right. Here you go, cheers. cheers. That's the bite. Mm. Oh, that's very good. And you can eat with your hands. The Epo Riro is delicious. It has kind of this soupy texture to it. And then you have all the greens in there, the beef in the middle. You can pick any protein you want to go on there. You just get a little bit of whatever side item you get to make a little bit, kind of like a little bread. It's like a little dumpling kind of texture. You grab some of that in the bowl, put it all together, you go for it. It is delicious and it's a fun experience. This is delicious. I love the flavor that's in here. And I'm so glad that you got to share your culture with me and show me how to eat like this. This is so fun. So this is called jollof rice. It's popular in Africa, especially West Africa, but this is the popular jollof rice and trices that everybody likes. Most people will order this on a regular. And we serve this with chicken drumstick tossed in a tomato sauce that we usually call stew. So it's actually stewed and then a side of plantains. This is just rice, a little kick of spicy, not heavily spiced. So let's get some of the rice. The tomato. It has a little bit of, a, like, I like the spice on there. Mm -hmm. It's like a small little spice kick, but not like spicy, like it's actually hot. And then you have the sweet plantains you have on the, the side. the sweet plantains on the side. So I'm gonna get some of the chicken here as well. Mm -hmm. That's the bite. Mm. Oh, this plate is wild. <laughs> oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. The jollof rice, one of the most popular dishes on the menu. It is so good. It takes three hours for that rice to reduce down to get all that flavor in there. You have the veggies. You also have some sweet plantains on the side. I chose to go with chicken as my protein on there, and I highly recommend you do the same. The sauce on the outside is incredible. The texture of the chicken. You just want to get a little bite of everything. Now, you can eat it all separate, or eat it all together. Either way you do it, it's going to be delicious. If you really want to try something different, expand your palate. Trices out here, it is a great restaurant. 
Everybody's been awesome out here. So you come out here, try something a little bit more adventurous. Even the fish just looks fantastic. Try some palm wine. Cheers to you. Thank you for having us out here. Thank you. Thank you. Come visit us.